Good morning everyone and welcome to our Kids Church session. We're in Advent, the third Sunday of Advent, and we're going to look at a story uh, Jesus told, a parable that helps us think about uh, Jesus uh, who will come again, Jesus born in Bethlehem at Christmas, who grew up and showed us God's love by the way he lived and will one day come again. And we're going to be thinking more about that today. First of all, though, can I just tell you about a couple of things? We've got uh, Christingle coming up and we're going to be doing that on Zoom. So we're going to try a live Zoom Christingle. The details are there. You'll need to have your own uh, kit, oranges, candles, sticks and sweets and red ribbon. And we're going to make the Christingles up together over Zoom, sing a carol, play a game, and then we'll all light our Christingles at the same time. So do uh, come along to that. You can get the link by emailing me. I've got some messy Christmas kits, which I'm really happy to post to you. Uh, with some Christmas crafts. There'll be a messy Christmas uh, video on the YouTube channel of the church on Monday the 21st and uh, may, why, why not make some of these uh, Christmas crafts and just have a bit of fun with our messy Christmas. And we've got our virtual nativity next Sunday. It's going to be on the YouTube channel. It's also going to be shown live uh, uh, at the service uh, you're welcome to come along and watch it at the service, uh, maybe even come dressed up as a nativity character. And all uh, details of all these things, just email me. My email address is here on the screen. I'm going to pray and then we're going to uh, play a game together. Father God, as we think about Jesus, Jesus who came as your gift to us at Christmas and Jesus who one day will return, we pray that you'll help us uh, understand what it means to be ready for that to be ready for Christmas, to be ready for Jesus coming again. Amen. So this quiz is called Numbers in the Bible. We're doing it because in the story we're going to hear in the parable, there's a certain number of bridesmaids. And as you can see on the screen, that's one of the questions. How many bridesmaids in the par are there in the parable that Jesus told? But have a look at that and the other questions. How many days of creation? The number of the books in the Bible. How many disciples did Jesus have? How many brothers did Joseph have? How many days did it rain in the story of Noah? We did that story last week. How many days was Jesus in the wilderness? How many fish did Jesus use when feeding the 5,000? How many days was Jonah in the tummy of that great fish? And how many gifts did the wise men bring? Could see some answers as well so why not try and match up the right answer with the right question you can always pause the video now as you uh, try and work out the correct answers so how well did you do well, let's go through each question shall we the number of days of creation i expect that you got that was seven the number of books in the bible Perhaps not so easy, but there are 66 books in the Bible. 37 in the Old Testament and 29 in the New. Jesus had 12 disciples. Jonah was in the tummy of that fish for three days. It rained in Noah for 40 days. Jesus was in the wilderness also for 40 days. Often in the Bible you do get these uh, links between numbers, like the number of days Jonah was in the tummy, the number of days Jesus was in the tomb, and so on. And the number of gifts was, again, three. And Jesus used how many fish to feed the 5,000? Two. Remember, five loaves and two fish. Joseph had, well, there were 12 brothers in total, but of course Joseph was one of them. That means he had 11 brothers. The final one, the bridesmaids in the parable Jesus told. Well, well done if you got this. You might have done it by a process of elimination, by getting all the numbers. Because uh, we haven't done this story yet, but uh, you'll find out the answer when we hear the story. And we'll do that next. So this is the parable of the ten bridesmaids and I'm going to uh, read it from the International Children's Bible from Matthew chapter 25. 
So Jesus is speaking. At that time the kingdom of heaven will be like ten girls who went to wait for the bridegroom. They took their lamps with them. Five of the girls were foolish and five were wise. The five foolish girls took their lamps but they didn't take more oil for the lamps to burn. The wise girls took their lamps and more oil in jars. The bridegroom was very late and the girls became sleepy and went to sleep. At midnight someone cried out, the bridegroom is coming, come and meet him. All the girls woke up and got their lamps ready. But the foolish girls said to the wise, give us some of your oil, our lamps are going out. The wise girls answered, no, the oil we have might not even be enough for all of us. Go to the people who sell oil and buy some for yourself. So the five foolish girls went to buy oil and while they were gone the bridegroom came. The girls who were ready went in with the bridegroom to the wedding feast. Then the door was closed and locked. Later the others came back. They called, Sir, open the door to let us in. But the bridegroom answered, I tell you the truth, I don't know you. So always be ready. You don't know the day or the time that the Son of Man will come. And Jesus was telling us that one day he will come again. Jesus will come back to the earth and he will take with him all people who love him. We have that very famous verse in the Bible, don't we? God loved the world so much he gave his only son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. That's what Jesus is talking about here. But as long as we choose to follow him, as long as we invite him into our lives, we will be ready. Because we don't know when he's going to return. It might be in 20 days or it might be in 20 years. It might be in 200 years or 2,000 years. We just don't know. But we, will, we do know that one day he will. So we need to be like those wise girls and be watching out, be ready but by living our lives as Jesus wants, by inviting him into our hearts and not thinking, oh, I'll leave it to another day, but doing that now. So if you've never done that, why not say a really simple prayer? Why not say something like, dear Jesus, I want you to come into my heart. I want to invite you into my life. I want to follow you as my Lord and Saviour. Thank you that as I do that, I know that one day I can be with you and the Father in heaven. Thank you for that certainty and thank you for your love. Amen. It's great to know that if we follow Jesus, that we have nothing to worry about, that one day we will be with him, that we are ready for his return. In our church service today, we had that reading from Matthew 25 and also this reading from Isaiah. And this verse is uh, talking about that as well, talking about that one day, as long as we trust in the Lord, we can rejoice because he saved us and that he will come again. So I thought it'd be really uh, good if we could try and learn this verse together. So why not say it with me? And then uh, we'll do a couple of slides where we, we move some words and uh, see if we can remember it. Isaiah 25 verse 9 In that day they will say Surely this is our God We trusted in him and he saved us This is the Lord We trusted in him Let us rejoice and be glad in his salvation How well did you do with that? Let's uh, have another go I'll miss some words out And see how well we can do Isaiah 25 verse 9 in that day they will say, surely this is our God. We trusted in him and he saved us. This is the Lord. We trusted in him. Let us rejoice and be glad in his salvation. Okay, let's take a couple more out. Isaiah 25 verse 9. In that day they will say, surely this is our God. We trusted in him and he saved us. This is the Lord. We trusted in him. Let us rejoice and be glad in his salvation. And we'll do it again. And this time uh, I've just moved the, removed the references. So can you remember what chapter and verse it was? Isaiah 
25 verse 9. In that day they will say, surely this is our God. We trusted in him and he saved us. This is the Lord. We trusted in him. Let us rejoice and be glad in his salvation. And one more time, why not uh, have a go at saying this? Isaiah 25 verse 9. In that day they will say, surely this is our God. We trusted in him and he saved us. This is the Lord. We trusted in him. Let us rejoice and be glad in his salvation. Brilliant, well done. We're going to do a song now. And this is a song from Doug Hawley. Uh, it's a Christmas song called No Ordinary Baby. So why not have a listen to this, have a watch of the video. And if you pick up the words, feel free to sing along. And then after this, we'll do a final prayer. Father, thank you that we know that one day Jesus will return. We thank you for the gift of Jesus, the baby born at Christmas, who grew to be the man he became, the Son of God. We thank you that we can invite him into our lives. Help us to be ready for that return. Help us to live the lives that you want us to live, to show your love to our neighbour, to show our love for you in all we do think and say. Amen. 
Well, thanks for joining us for Kids Church. Don't forget, we've got a Chris Dingle, Messy Christmas and Virtual Nativity coming up. And just email me if you want more information. Uh, and I'll see you soon.